Ladies and gentlemen, it's Premises 187 and I've had a bunch of questions recently asking me about what I'm riding and it's a Honda NC700S not to be confused with the X they're mostly the same bikes except um, the S is the street bike version and the X which is the most popular model is the kind of like dual sport the adventure dual sport not that you'd want to do any serious off-roading on that but yeah so here it is it's not the fastest bike it's um i think this makes around 57 horsepower you're not gonna blitz away down a motorway on it but for london i like it it's um it's perfect for london the newer model is the honda nc750 uh, so this is an old model so the newer, the newer one had 50 more cc put in there i think there's a, a a dab bit more torque so i mean if you've got an opportunity to buy one i'd go for a if i was to buy another one i'd get a 750 just for that little bit of extra power i'm rocking the pirelli the uh, Pirelli Scorpion Rally STRs they are great tyres they are brilliant do-it-all tyres off-road, on-road I thought I'd be sacrificing traction but nope I've not had any slips or slides on these and I use them all year round not just winter or summer all year round these tyres cannot fault them and as you know the Black Widow exhaust and that's a full system the video of me putting that on and I've got these RNG engine protectors really important to cover up them engine, the engine block my engine block had um, like a, a boot mark on it so I've put that on there to cover it up and the radiator looks like shit I put these on myself, very important. You don't get these as standard, so um, if you haven't got them on your bike, get a pair, get them on eBay. They were called um, Universal Fork Protectors, I believe, and they're worth their weight in gold because you want to extend the life of your fork seals as long as possible. The great thing about this bike, well, things that I think is great about it, um, you've got the storage, you can fit a helmet in there, your locks, your waterproofs, probably not all together. It's pretty damn cheap to run it, and I'll explain this. It's, um, so the manual says 8,000 mile oil changes, most bikes are 6,000, so you get 2,000 2, more not that I would wait 8,000 miles before I change the oil. I usually change my oil at around 5,000 miles. Sometimes if I'm bored, I'll do it a bit sooner than that. I actually like as well that it's only got a single disc on the front. Um, you're spending less on brake pads. Tail tidy I've got there, that's called a Savage LED. Tail tidy, I picked it up from AliExpress or something like that. And it's, it's done brilliantly cannot fault it. In the screen I'm running, it's an MRA screen. It's got to be the coolest screen they do for this bike. And what I've, what I've been trying to do is give it give it a, a scrambler-ish look. And to complete that look, I really want to take off this belly pan and put a, a metallic one on. The problem is, if you're putting a metallic one on, you've got to take off your center stand, which is um, here. I believe this might be an aftermarket extra, but it's been handy on numerous occasions for 
sticking the bike on the center stand, inspecting the back tire, inspecting the chain. Center stand is very handy. Uh, you're looking to get a uh, 0 to 60 in around 5 seconds, which is sort of slow in the domain of motorcycles. Especially when you're talking about 700, 600cc bikes. But it's, it gets there uh, reliably, you know. She's currently at around 40,000 miles and I've not had any massive problems other than the time the clutch blew up. But I'm going to blame that on the previous owner because um, he lied about a few things. He was telling me, oh, 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 yeah, the oil's recently been done. When I took that oil out, but never ever listen to the previous owner's word on when the oil was done. Do that shit immediately yourself. Um, change that oil. He was all like, oh, yeah, the oil was recently changed. Yeah, I did the oil change myself, and when that oil came out, it was fucking filthy. I'm not a big fan of silver bikes, but I think this bike pulls it off. There's not, it's not overly silver and I believe the gold goes really well. I think it, um, yeah, this is probably one of the only silver bikes I actually like the look of. And there you have it guys, I don't have much else to say. It's a great bike, not the fastest bike. And like I said, if you've got loony mates that you hang around with a lot, this bike isn't going to keep up with them. Unless they're on 125s. <laughs> if this bike did blow up today, I'd probably buy I'd probably buy another one tomorrow. I'll probably buy a more modern NC 750S. It's just like it's, the bike is just completely headache free. It starts every morning. I've had very little issues with it. Any issue I did have was um, most likely my fault, like the, I believe I didn't put the battery on correctly and the terminal vibrated loose. Completely my fault. So I recently put a LED headlight. That's on high beam at the moment, but as you can see, at around waist height, it's not glaring the camera. That's glaring the camera, so I'm not blinding any drivers with that. I don't have a functional high beam, in other words, at the moment. <sighs> and that's it. That's all I've got to say right now. I'll probably, I'll probably kick myself later on, saying, "Oh, I should have mentioned this," but that's the storage. Hey. That's the storage, I've got security lock in there, pizza in there. That's a small pizza by the way. And my drinks.